여러분 안녕하십니까. 배진용의 쏙쏙 AFKN 뉴스 정치입니다. 러시아가 우크라이나 국경 지대에 10만 명 이상의 병력을 계속 주둔시키고 있어 긴장이 계속 고조되고 있는데요. 미 국무장관은 러시아군이 우크라이나로 침공할 경우 동맹국과 함께 신속하고 강력한 조치로 대응하겠다는 입장을 명확히 밝혔습니다. 우크라이나 사태를 둘러싼 미국 및 동맹국과 러시아와의 대립에 대한 기사입니다. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News, if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. It is hard to know. 이 시각을 기는 것은 그렇죠. To 이하. 모모를 알기는 어렵습니다. What Vladimir Putin is planning. 푸틴이 무엇을 계획하고 있는지 아는 것은 어렵습니다. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State. 하지만 미 국무장관은 today was very clear. 오늘 매우 명확했습니다. 오늘 입장이 매우 명확했습니다. 이런 뜻이고요. 미국의 국무장관은 우리나라의 외교부 장관의 역할을 하지만. 권한이 훨씬 광범위하고 막강합니다. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. 오늘 입장이 명확했습니다. 더불어 알아두셔야 할 표현. Make it clear 혹은 make clear. 분명히 하다, 명확히 하다. I must make it clear that. 나는 that 이하를 명확히 해야겠다. I must make it clear that I never laid a finger on her. 그녀에게 손가락 하나 대지 않았다는 것을. I must make it clear that I never laid a finger on her. 그래서 make it clear that mama 또는 make clear that mama 꼭 알아두시고요. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News, if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News 분사 구문인데요. 계속 나오고 있습니다. 동작의 결과나 계속 부연 설명. 자 오늘 입장이 매우 명확했는데 NBC 뉴스사에 이러이러하다고 전해주었습니다. If Russia decides, 러시아가 결정한다면 to move troops into Ukraine, 군을 우크라이나로 이동시키기로 결정한다면 결정을 내린다면. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion. No matter the size of the incursion. Incursion, 급습 또는 침략. 그 침략의 규모와 관계없이. No matter the size of the incursion. 급습 침략이 뭐라고요? Incursion. 급습 침략. Incursion. 급습 침략. Incursion. 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 침략의 규모와 상관없이. No matter the size of the incursion. 침략의 규모와 상관없이. No matter the size of the incursion. 침략 규모와 상관없이. No matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action. That move, 그러한 조치는 would be met. 맞닥뜨려질 것이다. With swift and severe action, 신속하고 엄중한 행동에 맞닥뜨려질 것이다. 자, meet with m o m o 라는 중요한 표현 나오는데 잠시 후에 자세히 보기로 하고요. Would be met 부터요. Would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. 미국과 동맹국들에 의한 신속하고 엄중한 행동에 직면하게 될 것이다. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Meet with를 보시겠습니다. Meet with 누구 누구 첫 번째 누구 누구를 만나다 회동하다. I met some nice people at the party. 나는 좋은 사람들을 좀 만났습니다. 파티에서. 이것은 미리 약속하지 않은 상황입니다. 
파티에 가봤더니 좋은 사람들이 좀 있었다 이런 뜻이고요. I met with my accountant this afternoon. 오늘 오후에 회계사를 만났습니다. 미리 약속을 정해놓고 상담을 하기 위해 만난 거죠. 이때 꼭 meet with만 되는 것이 아니라 with가 없어도 뭐 가능합니다. I met my accountant 이렇게요. 그런데 첫 번째 문장을 다시 한번 보시면 미리 약속하지 않은 상황에서 만났을 때 이때는 meet with라는 표현은 잘안 씁니다. 이때는 그냥 meet만 쓰면 되죠. meet. 그래서 I met some nice people at the party. I met some nice people at the party. 미리 약속하지 않은 상황에서 만나다라는 뜻이고요. 두 번째는 I met with my accountant this afternoon. 미리 약속하고 상담을 하기 위해 만나다. The president met with 대통령은 누구누구와 만났다. 회동했다. Senior White House aides 백악관 고위 직근들과 만났습니다. 역시 그냥 meet만 써도 되지만 이렇게 meet with를 쓰면 미리 약속을 정해놓고 상담 또는 논의를 하기 위해 만나다는 뜻이 더잘 드러나고 있습니다. 그 다음에 두 번째 meet with 뭐뭐뭐 어떤 반대 등에 부딪히다 맞닥뜨리다 할때 이렇게 meet with를 쓸수 있습니다. 예문 보시면요. His proposal met with resistance. 그의 제안은 저항에 부딪혔다. His proposal met with resistance. His proposal met with resistance. 그 다음에 meet with failure. 실패에 맞닥뜨리다. Meet with failure. Meet with failure. Meet with an accident. 사고를 당하다. Meet with an accident. Meet with an accident. 사고를 당하다. 자, 그래서 다시 한번 보시면 첫 번째 누구누구를 만나다 회동하다. I met some nice people at the party. 약속을 하지 않고 만나는 경우는 그냥 meet을 써 주시고요. 그다음에 I met with my accountant. 약속을 해 놓고 만난 경우는 meet도 가능하지만 meet with를 쓰면 더잘 드러난다. 그 다음에 meet with 뭐뭐뭐 이렇게 하면 어떤 반대 등에 부딪히다, 맞닥뜨리다. 그래서 met with resistance, 저항에 부딪혔다. meet with failure, 실패에 맞닥뜨리다. meet with an accident, 사고를 당하다. 좋습니다. 이 문장 상당히 긴데 아무리 긴 문장도 문장이 끝남과 동시에 문장 구조 잡혀야 되고 의미 따라와야 합니다. 당연히 그렇게 할수 있죠. 그렇게 될 때까지 이 문장 처음부터 반복해서 들으시기 바랍니다. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. 다음 자동 암기는 안 들리는 부분이 나오면 일시 정지하고 대본을 확인하고 다시 대본을 보지 않고 듣습니다. 대본을 안 보고 들어야 어순과 청각 이미지가 제대로 쌓이게 됩니다. 단어 하나하나의 소리, 단어 하나하나의 소리와 문장 구조에 집중하고 들으시기 바랍니다. 원어가 외워지고 문장 구조가 잡힐 때까지 반복해서 듣고 따라 하시기 바랍니다. 그러면 여러분의 머릿속에 청각 이미지와 어순이 쌓이게 됩니다. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear. But the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine. Telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion. 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 That move would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action. Would be met with swift and severe action.
would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies. Good evening. It is hard to know what Vladimir Putin is planning, but the U.S. Secretary of State today was very clear, telling NBC News if Russia decides to move troops into Ukraine, no matter the size of the incursion, that move would be met with swift and severe action by the United States and its allies.